First of all, I find the comparison might not be completely fair. Um, a, you're right in saying that the D700 is three and a half years old, for one. But secondly, uh, and most importantly, the D800 is over 36 megapixels, while the D700 is around 12 megapixels. So in terms of pure uh, resolution, that the D800 seems to be in a new class of its own in my opinion. Secondly, in terms of as a as comparison, it's miles ahead of the D700 in so many ways. Starting with, like I mentioned, the the resolution. Uh, then we 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 go into, into into other features. It has a larger screen. It's got more autofocus modes. It has a live view that is far more integrated into the body, making it far more user friendly. With with the controls being right outside and very easy to access and quick to activate. It's its autofocusing system is much better. They've made the overall operation handling of the camera even more ergonomic and more user friendly without changing what essentially worked really well with the D700. You see, when the D700 was launched, it was a game changer. It was a superb camera for its class. The, the D800 has not reinvented the wheel. It has taken what was great in the D700 and improved upon it. So that, that makes the D800 uh, an improvement on the D700 and I think uh, uh, vastly superior in that sense. Another important feature with the D800 which is not available in the D700 is uh, HD video. The D800 has 1080p high definition uh, video capture functionality. Live autofocus. Uh, it's a, it's an excellent, excellent, uh, game-changing camera for HD video capture. Um, the, these are things that make the D800 far ahead of the D700, and to even compare the two cameras might even be a little unfair. The D800 would be ideal, an ideal camera for, let's start with the, uh, the amateur class of photographers. I think that a serious amateur that wants to take their photographic output to the, the next level, have a certain skill level and they want to move up to the, uh, the next level and improve the actual output of the images, I think going to the D800 is, is a great option uh, for what you're getting. Um, at this price, it's it's unprecedented. Um, you're at undoubtedly professional class image making with this camera. It's very high end. Um, certainly, studio and landscape photographers should be will be very interested in this camera because of the sheer clarity of detail that it's able to capture um, at 36 megapixel. Um, the, the detail that this camera is able to capture is very close to the kind of quality that that you get out of medium format digital cameras that cost five times as much as a D800. Um, so yeah, I think serious amateurs and the professionals would find this ideal.